Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. Have you ever wanted to use your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad to control your Ableton Live mix sessions? Well, now you can using the Live Control remote application and the Live Control custom Touch OSC template. If you don't have Touch OSC already, you can buy it from the iTunes App Store from the link below. Once you have the files downloaded, it's really simple to set up. Copy the Live Control application to the Applications folder. After you copy the Live Control app, you're going to want to make sure that you run through the Live Control installer, which will install the MIDI remote scripts needed to work with Ableton Live. Now that we have the Live Control remote app installed, it's time to set up our iOS device with Ableton Live. We're going to start by going ahead and launching the Live Control app, and this is running on our computer. Now, on our iOS device, which is connected wirelessly with our computer, we're going to go into the settings, and then we're going to want to make sure that first MIDI bridge is disabled, and then we'll go into the OSC tab. We're going to enable this, and then we are going to select Live Control from the list of found hosts. One thing that's very important to note is that you want port outgoing set to 5000 and port incoming set to 5001. If these aren't set, you can simply click on them and then change the port numbers. But like I said, you want to make sure that port incoming is set to 5001 if it doesn't already set itself to that by default. Exit out of the Touch OSC panel, and then we're going to go to the layout selection. When we're in the layouts, we want to make sure that we select Live Control. As I said, it should already come preloaded with Touch OSC. Once you have the OSC connection enabled and the layout set to live control, you can exit out of the settings. And now you can see that we have our new custom template. Back on our computer, you can see that we have my iPod Touch listed as the connected device. So once you see that your device is connected, we're going to go ahead and open up Ableton Live. Just like any other MIDI controller that you would like to use, you need to tell Ableton that you want to use Touch OSC as a MIDI controller. Let's go into the Preferences, and then we're going to want to make sure that we're set to the MIDI Sync tab. We're going to select our Control Service, and we're going to change this to Live Control 2. Next, we're going to want to make sure that Track is set to On for input from Live Control 1. You know that this is working if you have a colored box in your session view. This is red for me because it's set to Control Surface 1. If you're using more than one MIDI controller, you might see it as a different color, but the fact that the box is there tells you that it's working. As an example, we can see how the Live Control template really shines by adding a couple tracks to our session. So we'll add a track here. We'll add one here, and you can see that we now have that track information loaded up on our Touch OSC template. Now you are all set up to start controlling your Ableton Live sessions with the custom Live Control template for Touch OSC. If you want to stay up to date with the DJ Podcast, please check us out on Facebook or Twitter, as well as subscribe on YouTube. Thanks for watching.